welcome back to my channel i hope you are as excited as i am if you want to get a real estate license and you know you are black you are muslim and you have an accent just like me well this video is for you well, this video is about is it worth getting your real estate license so well this is me presenting and bringing it to you my very honest opinion this is on what day one and your girl have decided to just sit in front of her camera make videos for you and yes this video is going to be about is it worth getting your real estate license well if that's the question you have in mind i've seen people wondering asking me why i got my real estate license and what is my input it does not guarantee that getting your real estate license will um that you will become successful if you really want to make it in there are a few things that i personally think that are extremely necessary for you that i want to share with you so yes i hope you will find this video valuable if you are wondering like who are you well, my name is Mahado Omar. I'm a real estate agent here in this beautiful state. What I'm going to do is to come sit on this chair and make you some video. Some might find this valuable, some might not, but I really hope from the bottom of my heart that you will find this video valuable. And if you do so, please support my small channel by giving me a like by following and by showing me love in return all right and honestly speaking this is 5 5 45 p.m it's almost time for uh iftar and if i tell you why nobody told me that it was complicated to make a video a sit down video since this is the first time i kept washing myself oh i don't like it wash it over i don't like it well right now please if i keep doing what i'm doing seeing what i'm saying i'm not going to make it to the end and you will not be able to see this video right now but guess what i've taken the initial to go on and don't stress myself and please upload actually what i want to share than me being worried about my look and how I feel right now, okay? There are a few things that I want to actually talk about if you know you want to get your real estate license. The first thing is going to be uh, when you are actually going to get your real estate license, all right? It's at the real estate school. When you register to a real estate school, you think the school is going to teach you about real estate, how to be a successful real estate agent, and how to survive and grow a business well um, no. well zero real estate school really teaches you nothing that will like honestly speaking nothing anyway real estate school does not teach you anything that will help you survive in this field all right you might learn how to calculate the commission Usually one or two questions were uh, this and that, they give you scenario. But the bottom line is in real estate school, what you really learn is the is the legal aspect of real estate. That's that's what you actually learn, the legal aspect of real estate. Pretty much the don't and do uh, the do and don't, uh what to do with your brokerage, like I mean, but honestly speaking not valuable at all for you to go in the field and crush it no not at all all right so i'm saying this to say that when you get a real estate license that is when the real work that's when the real hustle actually take place that's when you need to learn and with that you are going to need a brokerage that is going to provide you material tools uh knowledge market um and expertise uh with also a team if you know you are making over two deals a month it would be best to look for a transaction coordinator but other than that i think you can pretty much work on your contract by yourself all right of course you're saving yourself some money it doesn't have it's not you save yourself some money again uh if you have a title company that your broker is, is advising you to work with uh they provide you all the tools that will make the transaction even easier for you so yes joining the right team the right brokers that provide you all the knowledge you want is a big mass all right the second thing i don't want this video to be too long so we are going to be very quick all right the point i want to talk about is uh what 
you need to do while getting into real estate and be in a good position to support yourself or not to go broke not to go broke trying to get trying to pursue your real estate dream okay. because a lot of the time uh, when one is trying when someone is trying to get their real estate license they quit their job they they don't do anything on the side and they don't have enough support to help them with their bills or to help them with their rent and it gets to a point where you cannot actually take care of bills so you don't want to be broke or be homeless like that's the last thing you want to happen to you so my advice to you is keep the job or keep the work you are doing now that is bringing you income support yourself and your family and then from there you can i mean once you start real estate you can shift when you once you know that real estate is acting is actually bringing you enough income for you to to switch but before that please stay on your job i was in nursing school i also went to real estate school so as soon as i actually finished my real estate school uh, classes and lucky enough got my very first transaction it was a completely different story and if you want to know how much i make on my first deal please go ahead and leave a comment down below i will be happy to share with you and guys you will be surprised once you find out all right so yes don't go broke being a real estate agent and actually quitting and leaving the career just because they're unable to make it through and until you know you have made it through or you are making money or you have enough a customer or enough pipeline waiting on you please do not stop what you are doing because we don't want you hungry all right thank you third thing <laughs> the third thing i want to bring out is the potential income in real estate in real estate you can make a lot of money there is no limit the sky is the limit and we know the sky is way too up high all right so because of that keep dreaming keep wanting to achieve more and when i tell you real estate can change your life it does and it will and it did change my life i'm very grateful alhamdulillah for that so yes if you know you want more for your for you for yourself and for your family i mean why not look into it it might require a lot of work it might require a lot of persistence and remember you cannot get into real estate if you know you are someone who will break down as soon as you you get or you hear your first no because really being a real estate agent is running your own business so you ask people if they need help with buying or selling renting investing into land or anything like the main thing you need to understand is that you are here to help okay it's not about you it's not about you making a commission no it's knowing that because this person was in need of my services i was able to answer the needs and that's how i actually got paid all right everybody gets paid being rewarded for their hard work all right so don't be discouraged just because someone does not want to work with you or maybe you you are cold calling for example and when you call because you have you have an accent and they just start being rude or disrespectful to you that does not mean that does not mean he actually ruined your day or i mean if that's how you feel i'm so sorry the real estate won't be working for you all right it's so funny because your first client is usually a stranger people who know you who are your friends and family are never going to be your uh your very first client i don't know for some reason if it did happen for you great but majority of what they have seen myself all that is first client are usually strangers all right your best support comes from strangers so yes keep going so yes, keep going, keep advertising yourself. Just know that one no does not mean your career, your career has ended. So keep going. Bring out to you that I want to talk about is your accent. Yes, just because you are an immigrant and you have an accent does not mean you are not going to make it in this field. Yes, I said it. Best advice I'm going to say is this. Like for example, I serve, I'm a real estate agent here in Texas. Like, you send Texas and surrounding area. If I tell you that in this beautiful state of Texas, there are so many immigrants. I've seen people from all over the world. Everybody is an immigrant here. You, when you have an accent, 
when you are an immigrant you you technically belong to a community that when they see you you are going to be the main person they have in mind the one person they always talk about when it comes to real estate when it comes to real estate so do not do not be fearful do not be afraid do not be worried about oh who's gonna want to work with me everybody's gonna want to work with me if you realize that someone does not want to deal with you please learn how to say bye and mind your business and keep on going with your life all right don't hold yourself to those who are holding your potential this this low all right remember you have your own community i'm not saying only focus on your community i'm saying they are going to be your number one your number one buyers all right your number one sellers even since i got my license i have like 90 percent honestly speaking 90 percent of my clients are all people from my community all right so i'm not saying i don't work with other community or i don't want to i love i love i would love to and i want to okay we do not discriminate and real estate and the fair housing we all know that discrimination is forbidden we don't do that so so yeah so what i mean is don't worry you your people are going to make you uh, or to break you just remember that all right so be kind to everyone help everyone that comes your way be a successful agent as long as you know you are providing value you are providing the answers to other questions and don't only pretend just because you don't know something don't throw uh, an answer just to give them an answer to sound like you know it all just know that there are agents that have been doing uh, this kind of business for the last 45 years a decade they still always ask questions all right asking a question that is going to help your buyer to get in a better position to close or buy their home does not mean it makes you look uh dumb no it's the best thing to do is to always we all have that person that we always call when we have any any question in our broker go ahead give a call find out what is the best way to help your buyer and don't be ashamed of telling your buyer you know what and I'm, I'm not sure about that i will find out and get back with you don't be ashamed of saying that because remember every single buyer they have their own situation all right every single buyer is gonna have their own way you will have to accommodate yourself to each and every single buyer that is going that will come your way i have done so many transactions i've i can i really do not have two transactions that look the same everything is different along the way you see you learn so if you had dealt with it of course you know what to do in the future if the something similar to that comes up but again the best thing to do is always to say uh let me get back with you to provide the best answer because at the end is client satisfaction if your client satisfy remember you will have more client more referral and i mean it will never end and at the end if you do if you're providing good services uh success is inevitable so yes this is what i'm going to end my video i hope you found this valuable and by all means this is not me bragging uh, this is, by all means this video is is to help out and i hope it did help i hope it did give some light to any question that you may have and honestly speaking uh this month i have decided to be posting videos while i am fasting working from home and i will have more videos coming i don't want this video to be too long so i am going to let you guys know thank you so very much just know that everything that you want to do in life can be achievable it can be done you are your only limit all right if say the very least i am grateful of where i am standing right now and where my life is at so when I so when you ask me is it worth getting a real estate license yes it is but again everything is going to depend on you and how bad you want it all right keep working keep believing on yourself have your parents and your relative praying really hard for you and guess what before you know it yeah! you'll make it thank you and bye